All right, in the spirit of resurrecting projects and getting things cleaned up, we're going to see if we can get some life back into this. A 1961, I believe, Ford F600. And so we'll get started on that right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. This is a 19, I believe 61, I'll have to look, I can't remember, 61 or 62 F600 that was actually bought by Grandpa's uncle. Uh, and like I said in videos past, uh, they were going to part it out or junk it or whatever. And I saw that and I ended up buying it for the hoist. But then the truck ended up to be pretty good, so I threw a set of tires on it and put it back on the road, and all was well until the brakes started to not work. <laughs> and I could not get that vacuum booster for this, and so that's kind of where we left it. I did try something, and it didn't really work, but I'll show you that here in a minute, so... I have not really, I don't remember, of course, this has become a flat surface. Why would I think otherwise? So, yeah, it's full of stuff, but we can make room to work. 50,316, probably, or is it 60,000? Could be 60. It's probably 160,000, I don't know. Although these old grain trucks didn't get a lot of miles on them, so... Who knows, but uh, yeah. And like I said, everything becomes a flat surface. We got some 9650 parts laying in here on the floor. I see, we'll have to clear out of the way. More 9650 stuff there. Uh-huh. So, okay, so that's not really important to what we're doing. All we're going to try to do is see if we can't get it to run and drive. Obviously, mice have been living in here, so that's dandy. An old jacket. It is a 61. So, there we have that. Why I have this tarp in here, I don't know. Oh, there's papers on the seat, too. How nice. Get out of there. Old grain tickets. A filter for a 60 that never got used. Okay. Now, what I'm doing right now is foolishness. Why, you ask? Well, because I just remembered that the battery is actually under the floorboard on the other side. So I'm guessing we're gonna be cleaning most all of the truck. But anyway, I am betting knowing the history of this vehicle, that if I put some gas in it and throw a set of jumper cables on it, it'll probably fire right up. It was just that good. Look at all of this. How does one guy accumulate so much garbage? Fire extinguisher, we may need that. All right. All we gotta do is make room that we can get to what we need to get to. Yeah, I have no idea what's all in there. There's parts, here's some 770 parts. There's a bucket I just destroyed from the brittle sun. So that's great, uh-oh, we don't wanna. Oh, we didn't wanna do that. I knew. I knew better. So do we all agree that this simple project is gonna turn into quite a nightmare here before too long it's already it's already headed that way all right whoa whoa i mean i don't know what's all in that bucket there's a brand new seven way trailer plug sediment bowl parts yeah wiring tractor parts you know i got tractor parts there are what were those? The lights that were on the 770 when I got it? Or 
car. Now, the 770 had plastic square lights. Oh, those are the lights off of the 66 when I got it. And he put LED bulbs in there. And I didn't like the look when they were lit up. They didn't look authentic, so I changed them out. But, yeah, why am I the way that I am? I mean, I have crap everywhere. All my old grain tickets that now no one will read. There's the lid to the battery box. Oh, I also remember that one of the last times problems, things that we had was the heater did not work the heater quit working it was leaking and i took it apart and took the heater core out of it to try to find something and i hadn't been, hadn't been successful so i just ran it without heat which is fine 99 percent of the time but really this when you're using this you need the heat because it's cold but that is neither here nor there. We'll worry about this later. It's been in a few tiny little scuffles. Part of that was my fault when moving it. I had to drag it down the road. Uh, Non-running. And it did not... One wheel was locked up, I think. And, yeah. So, okay. Now... How do we get the hood open? I can't remember. There's one there, but there's another one lower on these. Gotta remember, it's a two-stage apparatus. Here's one. I'm gonna have to stick you to this. <clears throat> okay, there's there's the first part. And then there's the second part. All right. Get up our hood. So, I kind of cleaned her up and had her really humming along really nice before I, you know, let it go downhill like I do with things. Why? I don't know. But the problem, like I said, no brakes. And I bought this setup like you would have off of a hot rod, and I never got it to work quite right. So if we can get the truck to run, I may revisit it. I had some brakes with that setup, but not enough. We got good antifreeze. And like I said, this, uh, I guarantee, well, if I say that, it won't do it. But I would almost bet that it will be fine. Oil is a little bit down. Probably about due to be changed if we get it back on the road. The nice thing about these trucks, it was super cheap to register, like to put plates on it. It was like 50 bucks every six months. And that's a, a price a guy could live with to play with toys. And I think I did everything in a way where I didn't, it didn't really modify anything. So we can always put it back to the original fairly simply, but I never got that far. And, uh, yeah, so I really wish I could get this to work because I really like this little truck. It's got a lot of power for what it is. It really, uh, it just seems like it, <laughs> it runs good. I mean, so, okay, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some fuel because I'm sure it's all leaked out by now. I'm pretty sure the tank has a little bit of a pinhole in it which is super safe when it's in the cab with you, you know? But if we get a little bit of gas poured in here and then jumper cables to the other side, I think we can attempt to start it. So I guess I'll go get the, the white pickup and we'll try to make that happen. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this crap, you know? I try to save stuff thinking you'll need it one day, but there's a brand new set of lights does anybody have a need for this? <laughs> I bought it like for a white American, I think. And also the 9600 series tractor. Some of them had this rubber adapter ring. This is a brand new setup. If somebody needs this, let me know because I'll never use it. If I could get remotely, you know, 
some money back for it. I won't get what I got in it, but there's no need for that to just sit there and never ever do anything with it. Well, I know I said that hopefully we would have the hood closed for the last time in that other video, but now we're gonna use it to breathe life into other things. Just as it was done to this, so shall it do it to others. So let's get it going. The gas is in the back. Maybe we should get, well, I don't think a funnel's gonna help us though. The funnel's in the two color pickup. All right. Fire's right up. That's the nice thing about a gas vehicle in the cold weather, which is what I was getting burned out on those diesels. It would take it five minutes to start it and let it warm up for 10 minutes so that it was running good. And I'd just rather do this. Okay, can we make, that's probably close enough. All right. Well, dealer's choice here. What would be easier to get it in the truck? This one? Let's waste gas. I'm optimistic, see? I'm thinking that it's gonna work, even though we know better. Okay, let's not waste it all, in case this doesn't work. Oh, and I just remembered something else on this white truck we need to do. Uh, I never hooked up this that was dangling again. I'm not sure if it just needs a single connector to connect these two, or if it had a T in it for something else, but uh, we're gonna need to make that go somehow, because it ain't gonna do nothing when we hook up our washers or, oh, and also, I'm just finding all kinds of projects here, see? My battery hold down isn't doing anything. All right, let's. Look at that. The only reason I bring that up is I see the nuts laying there, which I didn't see the other day. Okay, we'll have to do that for keeps after a while, but for now. Okay, let's see if we have any life. Oh, cute little truck. Nothing, oh, well, you know what? If a guy had put it in neutral, that would probably tremendously help. I got all my lights on. Okay. Well, this battery is super duper dead. And so, I might have to, yeah, we're, we're super duper dead. We might have to adjust our cables a little and we might have to let it sit for a minute. And, uh, you know, get some juices flowing. Scrape off our protective coating we just worked so hard to put on there. Did that help it any? All right, we're gonna let it sit a little bit, kind of juice itself up, and then we'll give it a shot here in a minute.
All right, it's been a few minutes now, so let's see if it will play ball. I fully expect that we're gonna have to dump a little gas down the old throat hole, but you never know. Yeah, we ain't got nothing. Okay. Would this really be fun if it didn't burst into flame? I mean, honestly. The nice thing about these is you got lots of room to work. So that's what I like about the heavy trucks. Without doing the design, no, I guess not. Okay. Let's give it the juice. This is safe. Safety first. See, that's a lot. It's all over everything now. That way the fire will be grand. Let's put you right here. Right here is a good spot where you can see the fireball but also things turning, so, yeah. I don't know why I fully expected that I wouldn't have to sand the points, but that's where we're going next. We're gonna have to, because obviously we ain't getting nothing. And the distributor's in the back on these, which is nice for keeping it out of the moisture and stuff, but it's not very nice when you gotta work on it. So I will get a screwdriver and an emery board or something, and we will crawl back in there and get that done. This is so much fun. 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 How bad are they? They may not be that bad. Just enough that stuff ain't gonna happen. Oh, they got the white powder on them. I can see that for me. I would say run stuff every so often so it doesn't do this, but I've had it do this on the 550 and I use it all the time. It's just our, probably the crappy materials they make stuff with nowadays. Back when stuff was bad for your health, it really worked better. Let's just flip it over. places to I don't know I don't know if I'm getting it or not We're gonna hope for the best. I'll put that back on there. I'll put that back on there. We're gonna do nothing. There we go. Let's try this again. Come on, baby doll. I've only neglected you for like three years. Let's just fire right up like we never left a beat. She just don't really spin fast enough, to be honest with you.
nothing. Okay, this time, let's leave the key on. Let's take this off again. Take that off again. Let's get that off of there. Is it sparking? No, nothing. Nothing at the points. The points actually look kind of... I think they look kind of war from here, man. Come on. Do we have it now at the right place? I don't think so. I still don't think it's going at the right spot. It has got to spark at the point. Or it won't go. Okay. Well, we're going to give it another try. Even though I doubt that it's going to go. I don't think what I did made any difference. Oh. And somewhere I lost my clip. Alright, come on. Please try. This is supposed to be an easy project. It would help if it wasn't freezing cold today. That's also not appropriate, but sure. Well, I don't know. What do I do here? We know it's getting power to the distributor, but I just don't think it's getting, I just don't think it's still working with the points. So I'm gonna have to find something better, uh, something better to get in there and sand them, or maybe I just gotta get a new set of points. I'm just, I'm thinking I just don't have it yet, so. I guess I'll work on that a little bit and see if I make any progress. Well, I think another issue I'm having is the battery that's in this is just so dead that it ain't really helping us at all. And I don't really know what I'm going to do about that other than switch batteries. That really is not very nice, you know? Okay, one more attempt. It's just not turning fast enough. Part of that is because it's winter. It's just not going to go. Well, we failed, so let's put our stuff together in shame. That's actually an oil bath air cleaner, believe it or not. So, we don't want to spill it. This is what I'm getting at. Get in there. Get in there. There. No, that ain't right. There. Okay. As much as I don't like to leave a video as a failure, I have homework to do. I'm going to have to get a set of points and condenser because that one I think is, is done. And then I'm going to have to get a different battery in it because it's just not going to go with this battery. I mean, it's helping us zero. And 
also the thing being cold and sitting here and I mean the oil is thick as could be I'm imagining because it's probably yeah since it hasn't been run forever so it would help if also if it was a little bit warmer day so we may have to wait till we get a warmer day to help us along will it run in the winter time is not a good fun game to play but it is going to run at some point because I don't want it just sitting here going to pieces so I will get back on it like I said I'll get the stuff we need and you know we'll hear it run again don't worry my friends it's uh it turns over and everything so we know it's gonna run you know it's it's fine it sounds like it always did so and there was nothing wrong with the engine at all it's just I wouldn't really want to work on a cold day either so that's that's kind of where we're at but uh yeah i might even you know clean it up a little more get some of that crap out of there so that we can actually work but i'm thinking that a new set of points and a good battery and a nice warm day and she'll fire right up because I, I never had a lick of trouble with this old truck as far as that goes the only thing i had trouble with was brakes and it seems like on these big trucks, that's the constant, constant battle for whatever reason. So, yeah. All right. Well, like I said, this is kind of a failure. Part one, I guess we'll call this. That way it doesn't seem so bad. But uh, anyway, as always, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment. All that stuff is supposed to help me. And it doesn't cost you anything. And then I can get to working on more projects like this you know because yeah it takes time and money and i'm in sh i'm short of both a lot of the time so anyway that's where we'll leave it and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one